Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for a new unboxing and review. Today we are staying in the Star Wars Galaxy with Cat Bane from the Book of Boba Fett. This is the Daleks version. So first, as usual, let's talk about the box. The box is a bit thinner and taller than the usual, but design-wise this is your usual Star Wars collectibles box. Which means it's a black box with a promotional picture of a figure there. If you got the basic version, you'll have a different picture. And the Star Wars logo there. For the book of Boba Fett figures, you have an orange-yellow colored strip. Once again, here you can see Boba's palace, just like for the colored strip of Fennec Shand. You have another picture of a figure there, and another one there. When you remove the first part of the box, you have this beautiful promotional picture. So let's open this and first talk about the accessories. In terms of accessories, there's some really good stuff if you get the deluxe version. Toto 360 didn't appear in the book of Boba Fett and yet Hot Toys has given us his figures. I'm really happy we got him, the more figures from the Clone Wars we get, the better. Though I'm disappointed when it comes to the ends, there is the bare minimum. They could have given us more on that side. And I wouldn't have minded the toothpick as well. And yes, the display base is your usual Sandy Footprints base. We are never gonna get rid of this one. As I always say about this base, I love the sandy texture, but the footprints are annoying. When you pose a figure, if you don't want it to look a bit off, you have to put the feet exactly where the footprints are. The stand is a dynamic one, so be careful. I'll drop a link to my video on how to avoid damaging your figures with the dynamic stands in the description down below. As for Toto, his base is transparent. It's as simple as it gets. The stand you can move like this so you can have the figure in flight position. It works with a peg, so it's really simple. Hot Toys Vu could have made an effort and give us a little sandy display base to match with Cat Bane. Obviously, that one without the footprints. Then he has six hands, two fist hands, two hands to hold the blasters, and two open hands. As for weapons, he has his two L30 blaster pistols. They have the perfect cowboy western vibe with a Star Wars twist. Hot Toys used a nice silver paint and a wood-like paint for the handle. It's a beautiful work. He also has a flamethrower effect you can attach on his gauntlets. With the Deluxe version, you get Thruster's effects you can attach on his boots as well. Finally, Todo also has Thruster's effects and an additional pair of legs for the wheel mode. Since Todo is not in the basic version, these accessories only come with the Deluxe version. So first we are going to take a look at Todo and then we'll talk about Cat Bane. Toto 360 is actually a bit taller than I expected. Because the head is bigger and heavier than the rest of the body, I definitely recommend using the stand with this figure. When you look at him like this, he's alright, he's standing on his own, but he has a tendency to fall. It's really easy to install him on the stand. And here it is. With this design, the transition between animation and live action was smooth. Hot Toys did a great work with his droid. There's also a nice weathering all over the body. It's great. The articulation is limited. You can move his head like this. You can also move his shoulders and his legs. For a droid like this, I think it's 
Fine. Anytime a character from the Clone Wars makes the jump to live action, I'm happy. It was such a great surprise to see Cat Bane in the book of Boba Fett. And now his figure is here. The transition from animation to live action is simply perfect. Nothing to say about it. In terms of design, he is really the archetype of the space cowboy. He looks so cool with his hat and his strange coat. Hot Toys has nailed it recreating this character in figure format. The boots are made of plastic and it's just one piece, but since they're not high, it still allows fit articulation. The belts and holsters are made of pleather. It's a bit delicate to insert the blaster inside the holster, so I would recommend not doing that all the time. Apart from that, the rest of the costume is made of fabric. Thus, you can get great action poses with this figure. The costume itself is simple, it's all brown, but there are a lot of small details. On the torso, you have these little plates. And at the back, he has his backpack to which his front tubes are connected. The backpack is not removable. The blue of the gauntlets with all these buttons really add a Star Wars vibe to this overly cowboy outfit. The gauntlet on my right, this one, has a cable connected to itself, so it's not a problem for the articulation of the arm. The other gauntlet has a cable connected to the inside of the costume. Though you can still get a good articulation range with a cable there, so that's fine. In terms of articulation, the head has a limited range because of the tubes. He can look down, slightly look up, and slightly look on its side. As for the rest of the figure, you can move the arms like this, like this. You can also move the hands. You can move the legs like this, like this. You can also move the knees and the feet. In terms of size, you can see it's taller than the other figures, which is accurate. The fabric used for the ad is very similar to Box King. It looks even better in person than in the promotional pictures. It's a proper hat, but in figure format. And yes, it is removable. When you move it, you can see a plate on his head there. This is actually a reference to the unfinished arc from the Clone Wars that featured a confrontation between him and a young Boba Fett. So what we see in the Book of Boba Fett is a rematch. Cat actually makes a reference to that arc during the rematch, as it talks about a lesson to teach him. In the arc, Bane was kind of a mentor to Boba for a little time. So despite not being released, this arc still counts in the Star Wars canon. The head sculpt is spot on. This is Cat Bane. Hot Toys has done a fantastic job there. I love the threatening look they gave him, but that's not the only expression you get. He also has two additional interchangeable faces. You also get the angry face, his mouth is slightly opened, and this looks even more threatening. And the final face is what I call the action face with his mouth opened as if he was shouting. The three expressions are all absolutely impressive. I know I am often going to change the face I use for my display. So now let's see some poses.
This Cat Bane figure is a must-have for Star Wars fans. It's a great figure and it comes with three impressive interchangeable faces. Plus, if you get the Daleks version, you also get his cool droid companion Toto360. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!